We are back on ACC and what a race this is. We're at Silverstone in the wet. I've never done a race in the wet online as far as I can remember. And we're here for the Logitech McLaren G Challenge community circuit. We're in the split. I've qualified in P8. I need to concentrate now. You guys and girls want to see more ACC. Let's go. Here we go. Someone's got a drive through. Oh, he's very close on the inside. Just someone's gone off behind us there at Cops. You can see the radar as well. This is a one hour race, everyone. One hour race. And I'm terrified, but I want to do really well. Qualifying eight out of 21 cars means that, you know, we, we legitimately are part of the midfield at least. Let's try and work on that. I'm driving in the McLaren 720. Uh, S, uh, Evo, I believe. And we're coming into Stowe now. And as you can see there where it says invalid, we have to make a pit stop in this race and change the tyres. I'll also need to work out the fuel as well. So I'll try and uh, do that. Might get some fuel indicator on my um, dashboard there off the McLaren. But the spray is absolutely mad as we go a little bit deep. Someone's facing the wrong way, but doing exactly the right thing and staying stationary so everyone can drive around them. Good job, that driver. And to be honest, in a community league like that, hopefully there'll be um, some uh, more good racing and good etiquette, basically. Because we'll be racing each other throughout the season. This is my second race. And if you remember, we got on the podium at Watkins Glen with no practice. But this, in the rain, is something different, I have to say. Although we are hassling the BMW here, for sure. Are hassling it. And, uh... Let's see what we can do. Should come into Brooklands. No, he might have gone quite deep there, though. In fact, they both have gone deep. Let's see if we can hang it around the outside. Oh, it's a three-wide situation. Be careful, gentlemen. Clear on the right. There we go. Still on the outside. Car on the right. Can we get the run around the outside of cops? Or is this a very stupid thing? Let's go. Oh, contact. But it's okay. It's okay. All's fair in love and war. It's the car behind us. The McLaren goes off. So we're still in P8. Still in P8. That's not me with a drive through there. For speeding. Let's try and catch up again with our BMW rival now. I think it's fair to say, isn't it? As we exit um, Chapel. Onto the straight. Gonna scream down into Stowe. They're saying valid. I wonder if it's raining. It doesn't require you to do the tyre change. I don't know, unfortunately. I have no idea. I'm I know some of you ACC veterans will be screaming at the screen. But don't worry, we will be doing a live stream on ACC for the um, competition. So do make sure that I've got a notification for that. But right now, all I'm thinking about is getting back on the gearbox of uh, this BMW M4 it'll be, won't it? Let's go. Come on, McLaren. I wonder if the conditions will start to dry as well. In which case, we might want to... The pit stop will become very tactical, won't it? Well, I can see there, for the next 30 minutes, is predicted rain. TC is really quite helpful. There. Getting rid of the drama. where he went deep last time but he was defending from us we are 100% catching again let's have faith in the TC let's damp it ah you see it cutting a little bit there too much because I was um, doing some crazy angles we're gonna come into cops again this is where we had the contact last lap oh man might have been breaking there on the white line 
You saw the back end of the car step out. Still in P8. Let's get on the back of Derby. That's 997 with the drive through, I believe. It's a bit of cat and mouse at the moment, isn't it, with the BMW? See, we're up on our lap time. Where the rest of the field's trying to have a look up there. There's one driver. See the PSR, the tyres. I, I heard it was between 30 and 35. It was a good wind day. Always been weak here, I have. That sausage, it's that sausage there. That sausage wasn't there. I think I'd be able to visualise that suite of corners a lot more efficiently. Come on, let's get into that BMW. Got to get on the power there earlier. We chuck the car in. Just believe there's going to be the grip. This worries me because the pit window... Is that the pit window is open now or is it opening? I just wonder if a wet race means you don't have to change tyres and I should have fueled up all the way. Because I don't know where I am with fuel. Where am I with fuel? I've no idea. I've no idea where I am on the fuel situation. Just say on the car. Can't lose track of this BMW as well. Come on. Fuel to add 51. But what is the fuel situation? How do I know? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. 50 litres of fuel. I'm, I'm an idiot. I'm really stupid. It's always been there. So my microphone's in the way, it's my only excuse. Right, come on, let's go. There's two other cars out there as well. <clears throat> so we are going to need to box a window. So I think it's not pit window opens in. I think it's a pit window is open. And it will close just a minute before the end of the race. That's how I'm interpreting it. So we started with 65 litres of fuel. Yellow flag in sector two. And I'm guessing that's going to be enough. Come on, man, concentrate. Enough halfway. We'll worry about that in a few laps. Let's get back concentrating on our driving because that BMW is just eking out a little bit of a gap. But I can see P5 just up the road there. Oh, contact. One of them's gone around. They've both gone around. Yellow Maybe there's a puddle or something. Big drama, and how's this rejoin, sir? We're good, we're good, we're good. I think that might have put the BMW off. Wow, they must have gone hammer and tongs through there. And we are up into P6, everyone. Absolutely insane, there's already someone in the pits. Got to stop um, breaking on that white line. Come on, let's get after that BMW, be brave. I feel like we're carrying a lot more speed through here. The guy behind has gone off really, he shouldn't be looking in the rear view. So translate that to a good exit because we definitely caught on the BMW. Now I'm focused a little bit more because now tyres are selected, if we get the fuel right, Strategy's easy, isn't it? We're just coming halfway.
Come on. In fact, even easier if somehow we can get to 40 minutes. That'll be 20 minutes left and we're running two minute laps. That'll be 10 laps, call it 11 laps. So that will be about 35 litres of fuel we'd need to put in there. Okay, I like that simple mass, quick mass, as they say. Stay off those curbs, man. Here we go, finally up with this BMW, I think. He gets a better exit, I mean, how I bogged down so much. It's a battle for P5. We are now back within a second, everyone. Hope you're enjoying the video. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more ACC, by the way. Always a uh, pleasure to come back onto this brutally immersive simulator. It grabs you by the scruff of your neck. But who's that? That's the pit lane, by the way, that I've got to have not pitted. So we'll have to work it out, how to do the uh, pit entry there. We are gaining. Let's power out this time. Maybe the tyre temps are actually decent. Look at us here, we just sort of barrel in there, dab the brakes, bit more power, down another gear, over the kerb. Let's get the exit right this time. And look how much time we've gained through there, it's visible. We will have the issue of spray as we get even closer. And who knows if someone ahead will have an issue. They look to be running quite close together actually, potentially. Top four. But I'm having to actually really concentrate here because this is a very well matched battle, I think, between myself and Jay Darby. See just him getting a hit of oversea, actually controlling the drift really nicely, not panicking and snapping out of it. Just being like, okay, I'll just hang that drift until I need to get on the power. So great driving there from Derby. Coming into Abbey now. And then through farm. A little better of it. We've come together already. And it is a I guess a quasi endurance race, isn't it? One hour with a pit stop, so let's just be sensible about this. We've got the two drivers behind, they're only about three, four seconds behind. So they'll be licking their lips at us two battling. Oh, I came in hot there. I think we both did. Look, we've both missed the apex. So you can see that we're definitely locked in a battle here different apexes and again is another lap a quarter of the race has gone already can you believe it and we've got 12 laps of fuel that should be 20 minutes so I don't think we're quite going to get to the 20 minute mark remaining so we might yeah have to do some quick mass some very quick mass although 13 50 I think we'll be okay coming 50 litres I think I'm trying to work it out in my head Remember, we massively overfueled last time, massively. Come on. Great battle, this. And just, it does look like a good battle up the road as well. Two different cars. Insane conditions. Coming into Stowe. Will we hit an apex? Yes, we will. Arguably, you don't want to get that extra bit of rotation there as we both run wide on the exit. And he's just, he's a lot better than us there. You see, the gap goes up and down. By the way, keep an eye behind us because Il Moja is really on the move. That's something we've got to watch out for, for sure. As we both go wide again, don't want to go on that grass. That's going to be playing into the hands of the car behind. So I go a little bit deep there. Going to compromise us. 
and I feel I'm being so inefficient with the way I'm driving through there. Not sort of carving a line, just very ungracefully blockading through. Yellow flag somewhere. I can't see what it is. Is that a good line by the BMW? No, it isn't. I thought we carried a lot of speed through, but in the end, it was too much speed. Might take our opportunity here up the inside. Look at this. Very aggressive. It's going to be rolls reverse now going into cops. But look at the McLaren. Oh, my word. We're actually going to get... Oh, ho, ho. Okay. All right. That's racing. Another lap. Coming screen. Oh, the McLaren's going to go for it. Hang on. Let's follow it through. Our brethren. Where's the BMW? He's on our inside. Careful, careful, careful. How do I break here? Oh, this is edgy as seat stuff. So good. Now let's really try and keep up with that McLaren or keep an eye on the lines because they're in the same car. We don't want them getting away. They're just evaporating. But they might have a different strategy. They might be a lot lighter on fuel. And they might have different tyre pressures, they might have a different setup. In fact, they almost certainly do. But let's see what we can do in terms of keeping up. Oh, the BMW is on the move as well, and I'm desperately trying to cling onto this McLaren. I'm weak here, but let's have the faith. Have the faith. Woo -hoo -hoo. Jay Polo is going to arrive as well on the scene. He's gone very wide there, has the McLaren. Very wide. Not a great line for me, but it's better. Come on, I hate it, hate it, hate it, bogging down. It's a four-way fight now for P5. Really is, but look how fast that McLaren is ahead of us. Very, very, very quick on the exits. Maybe bogging down a little bit in second gear there. Yeah, that McLaren, I think, has just got too much pace for us, I'm afraid. He might make more mistakes, though. He's already gone off. So we end this lap, P6. So we navigate our way through Cops. Into Maggots, Beckett, Beckett's Chapel. Being very aggressive there, very risky, I have to say. A shame because that car ahead is just a little bit faster than us. Maybe a second, maybe two seconds over the lap. But it makes all the difference, doesn't it? All the difference. Maybe could have done some stuff about the brake ducts, opening them up and things like that. All sorts of stuff to the uh, setup side of ACC. And here comes the BMW. Wow, been caught napping there. He's going to claim that position, but we are going to try and hang it around the outside here. Now I'm going to turn in. Well, I promise you good racing. It's about how brave or stupid you can be through there. As the car in front, I feel like I'm under massive pressure now. Massive pressure from the two cars behind. How good is this, though? And I have to say, some respect for racing ACC. 208 for the car there. We've done 210, so can we take another second off our lap time? I'm certain we can, to be honest. Snapping it down into first gear there for a bit more of a responsive exit. One third of the race is done. 
we've got nine laps of fuel remaining just 20 minutes roughly so we're just going to be short it's going to be a track limit i think maybe yep yeah, track limit that's a warning come on man stop looking behind start looking ahead I think we lost the McLaren though unless um unless he went for an early pit stop I think we lost him I look at the McLaren head 7.3 seconds ahead now he's in a different league getting on that curb again powering out Some lapped cars possibly going to be involved in this. But that's the exit I've been looking for. 30 litres of fuel left. I don't think we need much more than 30 litres then. I think 35 litres or something will do it for us. So we'll try and get that down as we go into the pits. 2 minutes 17, oh that's a lap car. Oh he's very close this time. In the Valentino Rossi livery WRT car I believe. I've actually used the steering wheel they have in that car. But today I'm using the Logitech McLaren, sorry, Logitech Direct Drive Pro Wheel. And I have to say, it's really being put through its paces here because I'm getting so much information from the tarmac, where it's wet, where it's dry. And uh, that's what a direct drive is great for. You don't lose any of the detail with a belt or a gear. You just get the snappy responsiveness no clipping as well and uh yes yeah, so the logitech direct drive is actually doing really well today which is awesome to see coming into stow again come on man can't be sloppy it is a championship these are very good points if we can keep them oh, i've gone a bit wide there very good points in the scheme of thing because a p3 last time round of the p6 here you know people are going to be dropping rounds then you know we're looking we're at the sharp end of this aren't we in terms of this split i think it's the second split But I think Jay Darby might have a thing or two to say about that. Oh, he sent it there. Oh, he's really caught me napping. As I was messing around with the fuel. Both cars receive a safe rating penalty. Let me just use this moment to get my fuel up. And that is what I'm going to do. Yeah, it was a big send though, but I wasn't I wasn't exactly maximum concentration as I was fiddling around on on the, the settings there. It's a bit of a parable maybe. I feel like we're good now on Strat. The tyres are pretty good. I mean, there's no noticeable wear on the tyres, but 
believe we have to change them um, anyway. And with seven laps to go, that is about 14 minutes. So we will put about 21, 22 minutes to go. And then we'll put in, we'll put in um, about 11 laps of fuel. So that is what we're going to do. Just to explain the strategy, I think 33 litres would be 10 laps, and I've, I think I've selected 38. So that's um, almost two more laps actually, which hopefully should be enough. Obviously the clock will tick down in the pits as well, without us uh, using any fuel. So now we can concentrate on... I think really just trying to win this duel. There's a car up there actually, but that's a lap car. Ilmoja, I think his advance might have slowed down a little bit. And we'll see if anyone gets a speeding limit or something in the pits. But definitely we have a direct rival here. Um, for very good points in the Logitech McLaren G Challenge community circuit. So we're going to try and beat him. Fair and square, obviously. I think there's times he's lit faster, there's times I've lit faster. I gen generally think it's in our battle it's been easier to follow. <laughs> it's been more difficult to lead. Still Moja's 21 seconds up the road. He's gone wide there, but I think he'll be able to hold the position almost halfway through the race. Pretty crazy. This is where we just are able to carry a bit more speed. It might be the platform of the car. It might just be me being a little bit more confident here. It might be a combination of the two. Unfortunately, it's not really a overtaking area. So it's somewhere we can catch or somewhere we can try and get away, but won't be somewhere we'll be able to overtake. Just keep an eye on the um, split there with Ilmoja. Maybe he's struggling with lap traffic. No, no lap traffic there. I don't know what he's struggling with then. Careful on the brakes, trying to be really smooth. On and off the power, on and off the brakes. Playing fast and loose with the track limits there. Haven't binned it so far, that's a really important part of the race. See the drivers behind, they're having a real battle. So we don't want to get sucked into that one. Do we? Look at that. Very close. Between at least three drivers. And this feels sort of like GT3 racing right now. You know, just noisily going around. I'm yapping at his heels. But I'm not really looking like to send it every corner, if that makes sense. Only five laps of fuel remaining, by the way. Only five laps of fuel remaining. Shouldn't have any damage to repair. Have been a few pieces of contact. Oh, there's almost another one there. So we sell her out in second. Probably a good job we did, actually. Some more drivers in the pit. Still 20 drivers in this race, though. Out of the 21 that started, which is great to see. So maybe people are making their pit stops now on the halfway mark. We're going to go a little bit longer and just try and take advantage of the light car, the light fuel. And actually we've overtaken a lot of the back markers there, which is good for us. And those gaps ahead, they might have seemed like big gaps, but they can change very quickly. As we saw in the previous race at Watkins Glen, where we were in this sort of position, but we ended up, don't want to spoil it, but we ended up on the podium. So never say never, we're sort of circling right now. Five laps of fuel to go. Got to time it right, obviously. BMW's maybe a little bit wide there. We're taking a bit more of a graceful arc. Yes, yeah, so one big thank you to uh, Logitech, by the way, for sponsoring this video. Obviously, I'm driving on their Logitech uh, Pro Direct Drive wheel and also Logitech Pro Load Cell pedals. Unbelievable combination. 
and driving in the Logitech McLaren G Challenge Community Circuit and driving in the McLaren Top. So I'm properly on brand today, but if you do want to check out Logitech Wheels, they have very, very, very kindly given us a discount code, which is really generous of them, that you can use on, for example, the Logitech Pro Direct Drive Wheels. So use the code, I believe it's Kirith5 or Kirith, one of them, try both, um, at Logitech. There'll be a link in the description and you can get yourself a little discount which is really generous of them so if you do want to check out their wheels do go um, do that and a massive thank you to Logitech for sponsoring this video and getting us involved but what we've got to work out now is what's going to happen here with pit stops with the BMW because can we try some sort of cheeky undercut do we want to 524's got a stop and go by the way that's P4 there we go there we go p4 has a stop and go of 30 seconds which will mean they'll need to come in and take that meanwhile we set our fastest lap that might be the car coming out of the pits just be careful can't see it so yeah stop and go penalty they'll need to come in again 997 gets a track limits penalty but i think 997 won't be up there because they're the car that had the speeding at the beginning so we just got to play. Oh, the BMW has a huge moment there. Let's see what we can do. Four laps of fuel remaining. We don't want to get this wrong. We're going to come in, check we've got everything ticked, tyres, fuel, do a quick sense check of it, according to the fuel burn rate, and then make sure we come in nice and under the speed limit and wait for the um, speed limiter to, pit, to, to pick up. Who's just behind us? It's Lima behind us. He might have been really, really, really rapid and has pitted. We will see. So potential banana skin here in the Ferrari 296. Let's see. Oh, he looks quick, doesn't he? We won't fight this one, I think. Car on the right. Clear on the right. Try and play that one sensible. That is the car that won the Nürburgring 24 hours this year. Come on. Oh, it's a bit awkward for them there, isn't it? Car one has a drive-through. That is the car behind us. Sailor said they have a drive-through and it's a stop and go as well. So we got to be really careful about our pit stop here because, oh my word, the BMW is not yielding. He might just have yielded there. Thought better of it. Oh, <laughs> Oof. Let's try and catch up. So I don't think next time around, but maybe the time after, we will be going into the pits there. And I don't know where the pit entry line is, but I'm going to be trying to avoid getting a penalty. There you go, P4 is in the pits, taking that thing, and there's a driver ahead. Car 17 has a... Oh, P2's got a speed in the pit lane. Hang on, it's all kicking off here. It is all kicking off. Hold on to your hats, everyone. It's madness again in the Logitech G Challenge. As the BMW gets a bit wavy, obviously the car's lighter. Can have interesting effects in the wet weather. It's just a bit more prone to moving around. 11 litres left. Wow, wow, wow. We are in P5, but we need to take our pit stop. But there's people around us who have penalties, including P3 ahead of us. And if he didn't have that penalty, he'd be battling. That might be provisional lead, I don't know. But we want to beat this BMW fair and square. P one clears it. Got to stop looking at that. It doesn't involve us. So at this rate, there's going to be about 12 laps to go. 12 times 3.2 it's probably about 40 so I feel like 40 should definitely put at least 40 in do I going to have some extra in tank actually we've got 10 already in the tank still we won't we won't box this time we'll box next lap unless he boxes and we'll follow him in because this is the pit entry I'm 
I'm comfortable with actually putting 38 in. Is he going to go in? He does not. So we will go around and we will box next lap. That will take us closer to 22 minutes. CP4 then doing his stop and go, by the way, and P3's in the pits. But that's probably regulation. That was probably the li previous leader. So we are now in P3. We are now in P3, everyone. And we are going to box next time around. See, the BMW is just getting away a little bit. Might be more confident with the current platform underneath him. Yellow's in sector two, but not sure what that's about. 1.8 off. CP6 is still in the pits there. But we'll see what happens when we come around because we're going to have to spend a lengthy pit stop as well. And we're not going below that two minute ten. So we need to really try and get in those two minutes, nine, two minute eights if we want to be competitive on pace. Stop and go cleared there. 1.9 seconds to the BMW. It's driving nicely. So we are going to box, box, box. So I'll check down the back straight on the fuel and everything. And we're all happy. It's going to be fun to see us live, isn't it? You can all be screaming at me. Telling me how much fuel to put in. Right, here we go. So, we're going to put 38 litres in and we're going to change tyres, go on the wets. 30 second pit stop. Sounds good to me. So let's try and just make sure we don't speed in the pit lane. I don't know what the, pit, the speed limit is and I don't know where the line is. He's taking a fairly tight line. Is he going to come in? No, he isn't, but we're going to come in. There's a line. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Not going to speed. I assume the limiter's on, but don't trust it. So we'll just do it manually. I think it is on because it's flashing, but... Is it happening? I think it's happening. Woo! Let's go, everyone. Let's go. See what's going on around us. Remember, we're pitting maybe a lap earlier than other people. So don't be surprised if we lose positions here. Limiters on, I presume. Don't go over the white line. Is that someone outside I can hear? Nope, don't think so. Track limit but no time gained. Hopefully that wasn't us uh, going over the white line. And we're down in P11, but... Some people might be going very long. They might have put a lot more fuel in the car. I just left it as default. And we now have 13 laps to go at 2 minutes a lap, 26 laps, 26 minutes. So we're all good, basically. We're all good. Even if that goes down to 12, we're all good. Probably have got maybe five, six litres too much, but I'd rather have six too much than six too little at this stage of my ACC career, so to speak. Oh, it's heavy now. It's a heavy one. Is that a yellow flag in sector three? Schlaup said sorry, so I don't know what was going on there. Might have been behind us. We hopefully will see in his head of us see some people pitting this lap. C 
a very heavy car now compared to what I was used to before. There's someone on the exit there. Let's prove we've got what it takes here by overtaking some cars on pace. But I'm hopeful that we're going to see people dive into the pits. One has been disqualified for driving in the pit lane. Car number one, who I presume is a fast driver, has been disqualified. Wow, what on earth is going on there? That is some significant drama. Oh, it's Sailor. He's not ahead of us. He's behind us. He's behind us. Maybe he's been dropped there. I don't know, but we'll take him. And Polo's in the pits as well. We'll be fighting him on pit exit. Let's see. No, it looks like we're clear. So we're ahead of Polo. If I remember, was our rival in the previous race. No one behind us. Let's get into this Mercedes. To the driving fundamentals. Mitbo. Number 35. Maybe he pitted early. And maybe actually this is sort of... You know, we're on the same strat. I don't know. Well, he's gone wide there. In fact, he's going to go around. So we might just have pressured him. Next up, Modiga. Don't think, no, Modiga's not the uh, guy we were racing in the BMW. That was someone else. But I think our objective here is to be trying to go sub 210 on a lap time. That's all we've got to aim for. I'll be surprised if people are going much deeper than this, but you never know. Nice turn in there. Use the grip, actually make an apex here and have a more straightforward entry here. And there's someone facing the wrong way. I just spotted out the corner of my eye there a black car on the exit. So let's just keep our wits about us here. There he is on his way. That's S driver. I think Medigan might have almost been collected in that. So he might be prone to sort of having a moment. Just need to have a, get a very different part of the race here. There's Sailor, he's been disqualified. He's in the pits. Medigan with a 2 minute 12. I dread to think what our lap time's going to be here, but we want to be aiming for... Okay, not bad. Let's push that now. Let's push it. Because I don't like having all these drivers ahead of us. Maybe we didn't need to change tyres, I don't know. It's a fellow McLaren. Potentially a banana skin. Only a quarter of the race to go. We're very, very, very good on fuel. That would be ahead of this guy if we put the right amount in. This is where we found him the wrong way on the previous lap. So let's keep our wits about us. Might be sort of on a quick lap here. Fair play, sir. Fair play. Gosh. I made a bit of a pig's ear of that one, but... We got through, and it's 8.5 seconds to Mediga. And there is Darby, 21 seconds up the road. So he must have pitted. Slow car ahead. And uh, gained a lot in the pit stop phase, gained 20 seconds. 
I don't see any other ex explanation there. So maybe the tyre change is not necessary in the wet. I don't know. 2 minute 13 from Madiga. Oh no, there's Grider! Ferrari in the barrier there. What's happened there? Not good at all. But that's another position for us that we'll take. Now, do we have the pace and the time to get back at Derby? I just don't know. We'd have to be ferocious. Have to be ferocious. Shap, Derby, Mediga. I think we can definitely get into Mediga, but... We do want a bit more, don't we? No flag. Really catching him now. With that sausage. 13 laps to go, 13 minutes to go, sorry. See, if we get unlucky with the timing, that could still be about seven laps, couldn't it? I need to be better at carrying speed through there. Still 6.5 to Mediga. At this rate, then we will catch him. Or her. And like I said, still 20 cars in this race. So we've only had one sort of, um, what's the word, retirement. Madiga, the 2 minute 12. Ah, we need to go faster. We won't have enough time if we're only taking a second a lap out, I think. We'll leave it too much a chance. No mistakes yet, though. Which I'm happy about. I think me driving a GT3 in real life has really helped with me being actually a lot smoother with the inputs just sort of trying to caress the car around corners 5.6 the pace looks to be equal with Derby but I think we've been done a bit on strap or maybe there is a mandatory tyre requirement and he hasn't changed it I don't know we've seen stranger things this race. There is a stop and go for car number two. I don't know who that is, but they've got a stop and go. Could be one of the top four. Oh, that's an aggressive line. Just hear the engine fluttering here. The TC is kicking in. But look how faster we are on this lap. Actually, oh, slaps on the 207, so we ain't going to do that. Two minute twelves, though. Derby, I think I saw. Ah, oh, unfortunately, lose a lot of time on the exit there. Oh, two minute ten dead, nice. Can we track limit? Yeah.
Well, we're chasing down a BMW with 10 minutes to go. 2.5. We might be catching Derby slowly, but too little too late there, I think. Unless, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe tyres going off or something as well for them. We just got to do what we can do and drive fast. Nice. Point three. Two minutes. Oh, he's a slow two minute sixteen driver. So I'm trying to focus now. It's one thing to catch, it's another thing to overtake, especially in the wet. But we're here now, I see plenty of Penalties ahead of us. Someone's cleared their stop and go. It's car number two. Oh, it's Grider. It's the car that we saw in the uh, barriers. Wonder if he's got good pace and if he's repaired his car. Oh, we'll take an opportunity here, I think. Just sweep clean around, and I think there was a bit of contact behind, and I think the Ferraris ended up going off the track. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so now the next car up the road is Derby. Okay, let's really try and go for this. Pow, then let's go for it. See what we can do. I'm really pushing it now. <laughs> I'm really pushing it. I want to see if we can reduce that gap in a way that puts him under pressure. Careful, man. Careful. Don't want to spin it. Someone said they ran out of fuel in their pit stop. Fortunately, we went a little bit wide there, which cost us. People might run out of fuel at the end. That delta is all over the place, by the way. Oh, Darby's in the pits! Darby's in the pits! What's happened with Derby? Why is Derby in the pits? Maybe he's splash and, splash and go or something? Let's keep an eye then. Here we are, we're gonna overtake him. I think he might be back on the move. He might need, need to do the faintest of splashes and dashes. Well, we are back up to P6, everyone. With six minutes to go. And the leader is just behind us. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, man. Come on. I think the leader is just behind us, Lima. So... That's going to be interesting when it comes to the end of the race. What a journey so far. And still could be plenty of dramatic moments. Please, please, please remember to hit that like button on, on the video. Make sure you're subscribed as well. Share the video in your ACC communities if you want to show them what you've been watching as I sort of fall apart there. 
55 minutes of non-stop driving pretty much feeling sweaty but I feel like I've I've driven well so far a p6 77 with a penalty um, again you know a p3 in the first round and a p6 here is kind of solid I think especially as I hadn't driven Watkins Glen in ACC and I haven't driven in the rain previously here Careful, man. Oh. Come on, we're doing silly stuff now. We've got a warning there. So I think if we get another one, that might become a penalty, so... Let's not do anything super silly here. I just wonder... This guy behind us is... gonna get two laps and that's it he's not gonna get a three he's gonna get two laps so there are effectively two laps remaining of the race come on come on come on concentrate Okay, let's go. It's five point behind. We don't want any drama there as well, do we? <laughs> Not, sir, if we can avoid it. No, 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 no. I'm sweating now. I'm re genuinely like, got a sweat in my like George Russell style. Is there going to be someone else ahead of us who's got a penalty? That 997 car's been in the walls, haven't they? Do not get a track limit here, my friend. Yep, let's avoid that. was a yellow flag somewhere oh the car no there's a car ahead of us just dive into the pits i think but they're behind us really for position and yeah you're going to see here we're not going to get around before about two minutes ten so we are going to be going on to the last lap everyone of a great acc endurance so far but will there be any drama on the last lap because nothing counts for anything just yet take home those championship points that's what we've got to focus on that's what we've got to concentrate on 156 so the leader behind us is on the final lap someone's cleared their stop and go and he is only two seconds behind. and at that rate he will overtake us so the plan is we go over the start finish line behind the leader. That is the plan, as weird as it might sound. We do not want to go over the line ahead of the leader. Um, although then we can't be overtaken either, can we? Because no one will be able to come ahead. Stick to the inside here. Actually, I don't know. Now I'm just being very confusing. Windows closed. There he goes. Follow the leader. See his lines. I think we followed Merlin in this race, didn't we? See where he looks good. Oh, this would be a good result for us. Wow, look how good he is. Just very nice through there, getting on the power nice. I mean, look how much time he's gaining. Look at the delta there. 
1.5. Very, very, very good. Fair play. Fair play. And there we go, everyone. It says final lap on the car. So we go around what is the penultimate corner, really. It's going to be a great result. If you do want to get involved in Lotte McLaren 2 Challenge Community Circuit, hit the link in the description below. Because it's been a great race, fair racing. And we're over the line. We've got 14 bonus trust. I'm now trustworthy. And we'll just park the car over here. There's the leader. It's not a podium for us this time. But it is a P6 and I will take that because I think that means very, very good points. I've really enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed it as well. And I'll see you. See you next time.